Hello everyone, Triple S back here with the last level of Halo 4, Midnight. We're going to be flying through space for a little bit, and then we're going to go and take it up close and personal with the Didact. And I think the first time I played this, which was probably the last time I played it, the first and last time, uh, if you get what I mean, I crashed a lot. But we'll see how well I do today. Ah, this is a broadsword. She said it was. It's not a long sword, but a broadsword. Oh, great! My puppy's upstairs. Come on, George. Come on. Yeah, he's a good boy. Ugh. I'm back. Get up to reclose my door because my puppy opened it to tell me that he's come upstairs and then he opens my parents' door. Let's go. Ugh. My finger's still numb, by the way. My index finger. It's Metapod. That ship is Metapod, I swear to God. <laughs> oh, yep, here we go. Okay, we got rockets. Ooh, we fit. I could have. Okay, left trigger's boost. Ugh. So this is why it's hard to fly. Damn it! See? This is gonna me be me crashing so many times. Okay, stay low. Ouch! Stop hitting me. Oh, God. Sorry, I'm not going to be able to talk much because I'm really concentrating on not crashing. There you go, I crashed. Okay, we're going down. Thank God they t told me to go down there. Ah! I'm not boosting, unless when it tells me to. Ouch, ouch, stop it.
Oh, that was close. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Did not like that. Oh, I hate this. This is so nerve wracking. Okay, I'm going down. Because that's what I did last time. I went through this area. And up here. Ouch. Okay, shields, please come back. Thank you, shields. Really don't like this, really don't like this, really don't like this. Okay, how am I supposed to neutralize them? Do I come at it from the side? I do, I come at it from the side. That's down. I know that Cortana. Ouch. Come on, we can do it. Ouch, hit my wing. Fire! Laser! Oh god. I think I still have to play here and like dodge everything whilst flying through. Do I? Thank God I didn't have to do that. Okay, so I crashed once. That's fine. Time to go to war. Whilst carrying a nuke. Katana's pregnant? That's not good. Okay, I got a bar rifle and a saw. Couldn't the Didact just like stop his shit from... Still got a freaking hologram, Are you kidding me? I'd rather have had like shield than freaking hologram.
Where'd the other one go? Do you not drop? You, uh, you, oh no, you didn't have a sentry turret. You had a, a thing. That noise just scared the. That was a noise and it scared the crap out of me then. I threw a grenade. Did I hit it? Die! Thank you. Thank you. What am I doing? Nope. I won't need that. Just give me a second. Picking up ammo. Okay, I got my auto sentry back, which is great. I got that and a saw, which is good. Cortana, stop freaking me out. Yep, I figured I'd be approaching this thing. Hello. Oh, you're gone. Oh, you're a ball. So we're leaving you behind a bit. Oh, those sentinels aren't attacking me. Did none of you have a light rifle? Oh, you had an incineration cannon. I want a light rifle. I need right light rifle ammo. You had a binary rifle. It's not what I wanted. That looks like... Oh, it's just another portal. Oh! Ooh! Oh, gravity hammer! <laughs> I'm having a gravity hammer. It's the only time you can get one in this level, I bet. Oh, grenades. Thank you. Okay.
Die. Sorry, I'm concentrating a lot right now. You stop firing that thing at me. Die. Whew. Not fun. <laughs> Oh god, I'm low on ammo on this thing. Oh. No. Yep. Okay, who knows where those um grenades went. Just coming from this side? Hello? There you go. Good girl. Damn, my turret didn't last long. <laughs> I'm running low on ammo here, Cortana. Oh, no, I'm not. We're good. Are we done defending now? Come on. Activate. It takes a while to activate for some reason. Fruit. Please give me more ammo. I'd very much like more ammo. I've got a gravity hammer and not much ammo in this. Flying through the air. 
Hello. Long time no see. More ammo, please. Thank you. I'm going to beat him to death with this. Get in there, Cortana. She's done this before. Can't remember which book it is, but she has done this before. Or done that before, I should say. This is going to be fun. Might die, who knows. Okay, we're good. Wow, I was actually expecting a bit more resistance right there, but we're good. And this is why I say you should put on... Oops, we're going the wrong way. Where well, you should put on, like, music in the background, because I do go quiet to concentrate. Die. Okay, we're good. Got an achievement. Uh, where's the objective? Oh, it's there. Some ammo. You stop trying to revive him. Thank you very much. Wee. Okay, here we go. One more push. Where did it go? Ah, oh, I can't jump up there. There we 
There we go. Oh, there's another one. Die. Die. Whew. No knights that time. No knights at all. Bit weird. I bet they show up now. Me with no freaking ammo and no good weapons. There we go. Shields are back. I hate you. Get out of there. Ah! Just running out of weapons, good weapons to use. God damn. Oop, there goes the shield. That's what you think, Didact. But I don't care about whoever's living in that place on Earth. In fact, I think all of them are racists. So, good riddance. Ugh. Oh, don't tell yourself to be fighting. You can hear Cortana whispering. She's whispering, destroy it. So she ain't dead. Oh, for God's sake. I... It's just spray and pray. Where am I supposed to be going, Cortana? Oh, right here. I'm coming for your didact. I wasn't holding a battle rifle. What kind of cheap game is this? Die, Dax. Knock, knock. He's gone. Humans must have been absolutely incredible back in the day when they were living with the Forerunners. This guy, can, he can pick up people. He has like telekinesis with his armour. He can teleport, turn invisible, whatever. It's like, humans must have had that to be able to withstand fighting the Forerunners and the Flood for, like, a lot of years. There's a long war that the humans had, but look what he's... Look what Didact's able to do here. And yet the humans were able to stand their ground against the Forerunners back in the day. Look at that! He can do that. Uh-oh. 
Cortana. She has become hard light. She's like Rimmer. He became hard light in Red Dwarf. Oh, don't fall off. Let's see if I can get this on the first try, the button prompts. Left stick. What? It said press right trigger to fire machine gun. What? <laughs> I don't think that was supposed to show up. Okay, let's try this again. Let's see if it actually gives me the right button prompt. Aye, oh, it worked that time. Press right trigger to fire machine gun. What? That's why I was so confused. And I think I pressed it too late when I saw it. I was like, what? Come on, Master Chief. Crawl your ass over there. How did that not get picked up in, like, testing before the game was released? You see, that said to detonate a bomb. The other one said to fire machine gun. It did, right? It did say fire machine gun. And that's the end of Halo 4 right there. <laughs> also, at the end, in the epilogue cutscene, I'm going to be showing the legendary cutscene uh, rather than just the normal cutscene ending. So, it's a treat for everyone. I'm going to edit it so you can see the legendary ending. It's not even a legendary ending, it just... The legendary changes, like, the last scene of the final cutscene of the game. It doesn't, like, add really any additional stuff. It's not like an additional cutscene, it just changes the last cutscene. She ain't going anywhere. Yep, there you go. <sniffs> Sorry, I'm sniffing at a very emotional scene, but my nose. I've been needing to sniff for a while. I just don't want to do it over the microphone. <laughs> She's fading away. I've been expecting a text or a phone call for like two weeks. It's still not showing up yet. I keep being distracted by my phone. Are my fingers still numb? The tip of my index finger is still numb on my right hand and I don't know why. You're making the Master Chief upset, Cortana. He's going to start crying. <laughs> and then his suit will recycle the tears into drinkable water like he's... <laughs> what space? He was born in space. Space is his home. Oh, you mean Earth? Wait, he wasn't even born on Earth. He was kidnapped on a different planet.
there we go. That was the last mission. Where's my achievement? Wait, what? Librarian's Gift. Complete every level of the game on easy difficulty. Because I only played it for the story. I didn't want the challenge. And then midnight. And I assume the part time was 25 minutes. Okay. Oh, no. Herald of the Reclamation. Complete all campaigns on easy difficulty. Oh yeah, I've played all the campaigns now on all the games for Master Chief Collection. Okay, so we destroyed 89 crawlers, 30 knights, 19 watchers, and 31 turrets. So let's watch the epilogue. Does that have to load first? It probably does. There we go. After destruction of... Oh, that was a very quick loading screen. I'm floating in the air. Oh, wait, there's no air in space. I'm floating in space with no air. I'll point out the change that the legendary ending does, which you'll see from like the bog standard ending if you don't play on legendary. But thanks to Master Chief Collection, you can just see the legendary endings very easily because it has epilogues now instead of You'd have to play for the last level of Legendary. It just has the epilogue. So it's very, 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 very handy, that. That's how I've been able to show, like, the Halo 3 ODST Legendary and stuff. But then again, I can just go on YouTube and find a good quality video of the Legendary endings. And if they didn't have subtitles on, I could put the subtitles in. That's what I'm going to have to do for Halo 5. Because Halo 5 doesn't have epilogue. So I have to look on YouTube to find the legendary ending. He is now so sad. It looks like there's absolutely no landmass on that planet. Where are all the countries? Oh wait, there's some. <laughs> I don't give a shit. After all those years ago when you saved me and my friends. Quote unquote. Friends. Okay, good for you. Did you want something? He's kind of grieving, dude. I can't freaking talk properly with my nose like this. You've never lost someone you love? Oh, there you go, you just said it, but... Oh, he's remembering what Cortana said. Find out which one of them's the machine. The whole deck? That's a massive amount of space for one guy. Unless he just means like the room. Does the room just count as a deck? I mean, you, you like a machine because you don't freaking stop. You get it done. You never stop. You've been fighting for how many games now? With barely a break? I mean, even going to the... Every great journey begins with a single step. Does that begin Thanks for choosing the universe. You'll love the of the history I mean, even going to cryosleep, that wasn't even much of a break because you don't experience the time that you're frozen. You just all of a sudden you're asleep and you wake up. It's like Listerine, Red Dwarf. He thought nothing had happened in between him being put in cryo and then waking up. Well, not waking up, but being brought out of it. He was in suspended animation. <laughs> if 
because Master Chief kicked your ass. Yeah, the Didact didn't actually die. There's a comic book series that takes place after this game and before Halo 5 that explains what happened to the Didact, which I think is a bit shit. And I think the guy who used to work at Free For Industries, who handled, like, the stories and stuff like that, in, like, the expanded stuff away from the games, he's been, like, fired because... I don't know, it's not because, but he was the one who was making decisions of, like, carrying on stuff away from the games. It's like, barely anyone in the world is going to be reading the comics. It's like, I have not read them. I'm a diehard Halo fan. I've not read them. I don't have the money to buy them. I suppose I could find, like, pirated versions on the internet to read, like, manga. But it's just like, you should relegate separate story stuff. It's like, now no one knows. If no one's read the comics, no one knows why the Didact's now speaking. Like, he should be dead. They don't know that he survived. And, you know... I like how she says, I thought you were taller. He's freaking massive. It's so big that they can't. he can't even stand in that thing for them to take his armor off. And my axe. Thump. And here's the difference. Like, for me, what I just saw then was just black behind the helmet. But for you, you saw the legendary ending, which was... A brief glimpse of his very pale face. And we should just go straight back to the main menu. Because this game doesn't let us see credits. There we go. And... I don't know why I'm waiting for. I've got nothing to show you. That's the last game of the Halo Master Chief Collection. Now I can finally uninstall it and free up some space to install other games, but next time we'll be doing Halo 5. Thing is, though, Halo 5 doesn't have the post-level carnage reports like this does. It just goes straight into the next level, and it's such a pain in the ass to try and figure out when a level ends and when a level starts. So the only way I figured out how to do it easily is to play Halo 5 on... A different profile which I haven't played on before and then whenever you know an achievement pops up saying completed this level then I know okay stopping here <laughs> this is just loading I don't think it's gonna stop because this game is that's yeah this game is sometimes buggy this disc but thank you all for watching I shall see you all next time for Halo I also came to the decision, by the way, that I'm not going to do Halo Wars 2. I have bought it, I started playing it, and I was just not enjoying it at all. It's not my kind of game. I prefer first-person or third-person shooties and other stuff. I just don't like real-time strategy, top-down, commanding units games. Ugh. But anyway, thank you for watching. I shall see you all next time. Goodbye.